Good morning, guys. We are 60 days out until our next Disney trip. So I am up early this morning before I have to go to work. Um, I did not get up at midnight this morning to reserve the Bebopty Boutique. So that's what I'm going to do first. Then I'm going to go get ready and then I'm going to get back to do my dining plan. So let's do Bibbidi Bobbidi. So I got Bippity Bobbity Boutique. I got an appointment at 8.05 in the morning. So Magic Kingdom early entry is at 8.30. So fingers crossed that it'll be pretty quick. We'll be able to still take advantage of early entry. I read online that it takes about 30 minutes to an hour of an appointment. So we will see, but we'll still be there to be able to get on some rides and she'll be able to enjoy her pretty outfit. But I'm gonna get ready for work and then I'm gonna get back here on the computer and join me for our dining plans. Okay, so I'm back. It is currently 5.33. I'm ready for work. So just a game plan. So my plan is to get a character, get Italian, get some seafood, and get somewhere steaky. Um, my parents are actually going to Disney World with us for the first time. They've been to Disney World, but this is the first time that they're actually going with my family. So they've requested those particular things. So the first thing I'm gonna go after is my character dining. Those seem to go fast. So I'm going to try to get breakfast at Acro Shoes. We have actually not eaten there before, but I thought it would be perfect for breakfast. And then I'm gonna go after the boathouse. We love the boathouse. We eat, that's that one restaurant that we eat every single time that we go. So we're gonna go after the boathouse. I also am gonna go after the paddlefish. That's not, those two are not that high of a priority to me. I'm also gonna go after Fantasmic dining package, particularly an Italian option. And then what was my other one? Maybe I should look at my notes. Oh, and I wanted to do Le Cellier again because I literally live for their bacon smoked Gouda macaroni and cheese and their au gratin. It's amazing. Plus their steak is incredible too. But we're gonna go after those. So follow along and fingers crossed that I get it all. Just to let you know that dining starts at 6 a.m. on your 60 day out. Bippity Boppity starts at midnight on your 6 a.m. So that is why earlier I said that I didn't get up at midnight because Bippity Boppity starts at midnight. Your dining starts at 6 a.m. So update. Um, I forgot that we're doing a split stay this trip. So I was like, why is it not letting me look this far out, etc.? Well, that's because we are staying at the Grand Floridian for the first part of the week, and then we're staying at the Riviera the last part of the week. So I'm gonna have to get up again in a couple days or a few days to book our dining for the back half of the week. So forgot about that. Also a good rule of thumb, if you're going after a specific restaurant, I highly recommend just going to the search bar and just typing in that restaurant. It's gonna get you there faster than having to scroll through all the restaurants of that specific day. If you're just browsing, like whatever catches your eye, you wanna try it out, then you should probably do the browsing. But if you're going after that specific restaurant, you want to go to the search bar. And don't try to be organized and go day by day of what the restaurants are. Go after the restaurants that are gonna be the hardest to get first and prioritize your way down that way. So my first priority was gonna be Acro Shoes, but because that's gonna be at the end of the week and we're doing that split stay, I can't go after Acro Shoes right now. So I'm probably gonna go after my Boathouse. It's been pretty hard to get lately. So I'm probably gonna go after the Boathouse possibly Le Cellier. That one's a hot ticket item. I'll probably prioritize Le Cellier over the boathouse because I can typically do um, mouse dining. I think that's what it's called. It's too early, I can't think. But um, where they sent you alerts, 
Um, it's only $9 where they can text you and let you know that there's an opening. So the boathouse happens pretty often with those. You can get those pretty easily. Fantasmic dining packages, those pop up actually quite a bit. I can still use like the mouse dining alert system where when there's a, a um, when there's a package opening or like whenever there's a reservation opening, it alerts you. Um, but Fantasmic, I've gotten those just randomly throughout the 60 days and that's been pretty easy. So I'm probably just going to prioritize Le Cellier, the boathouse, then go Fantasmic, then the paddlefish. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so it's 5.50 a.m. right now. Um, rumor has it that sometimes reservations open up at 5.45, so I'm always nerding out on here, refreshing my page. It's never happened to me, but if it has happened to you, leave in the comments that you've got reservations on your 60 day out, 15 till six, but I always try just in case, but I'm gonna go to my first restaurant, I'm gonna type in Le Cellier, and I'm gonna continue to refresh that page just to ensure that reservations are not popping up early. Okay, so my alarm has went off, it is 5.55, you set your alarm so you don't forget. Okay, it's 5.59, I'm on the page, and I'm gonna keep on refreshing it until it pops up. So let's go. I would also highly recommend whenever you're making the reservation, not to just go ahead and put in all of the assignment of people. You can go back and edit that. So just go ahead and make the reservation and then edit it. Also make sure that your card information before this is saved and you're ready to go. Okay, the first one is secured. Now I'm going to, going after the Fantasmic Dining Package. Let's see what we got. So we're gonna do Mama Melrose, which is Italian for the Fantasmic Dining Package. So it looks like I'm gonna get that one. So off to the third reservation. You can also put in breakfast, lunch, or dinner for specific restaurants, but I like to put in the specific time. I like to do about five o'clock dinner, and those are generally the hardest times to get from a reservation because everybody else does as well. I like to put the specific time that I'm looking for and get the closest to that, but again, you can put lunch or dinner and see what options you have. We like to stay as close, as close to a schedule as we would have at home as, as possible. Okay, got that one. So I'm gonna go after an additional reservation that I didn't talk about. I need some chicken and waffles from the Grand Floridian Cafe. We're staying at the Grand Flow, so why not? Um, but we're just gonna do this on a pool day, a relaxation day. All right, so I would consider this morning a success. I did not get Acker Shoes and I did not get Le Cellier because of our split stay, but I will get back on here in a few days whenever I'm allowed to do the 60 days out for those. And All right, so it's 5.30 p.m., same day, 60 days out, and um, I thought I was gonna get on here a few days later, but I'm not because my travel agent is a travel agent and she's fantastic at what she does. And so she reminded me that my parents are actually going with us on our trip and they are not doing a split stay. So I can simply log into my mom's My Disney Experience app and try to make a reservation. Also, big apologies, I'm in the toy section of our home and Annie is going 100%. So I apologize for the loudness, but mom life, right? So um, I've already looked to see if Acro Shoes and Le Cellier are available. Obviously they're not. But what I am gonna show you is how I do the mouse dining and set those alerts. So let's go ahead and jump on my laptop and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so we're back. I got every single 
dining that I wanted. Let me give you another tip and another hack. So whenever I went into my reservation, sometimes when you're passing that threshold of four people to five people, five would be considered kind of like a partial large party. So sometimes there's not as many reservations for larger parties. So whenever I put in my reservation for four people, we have five going for four people, then all kinds of reservations came up. So I went ahead and reserved that and then I modified it to five people. Now, if you're not able to modify it that day, you are able to modify it the day of your reservation by just adding one person, or you can even take away one person. They allow that um, at the restaurants. So that's another tip, another hack, but also while I'm thinking of it, even though you have a child that is under the age of three, ensure that that child is counted in the reservation regardless if they're free or not make sure that they are one person because they do count on the dining experience they do count as a chair so that concludes my how to get all of your dining reservations that you are wanting and i think this was a successful successful 60 days out if you want to see more content like this make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel join the internet fam and we will see you on the video on the screen or at disney world bye